Roger Ascombe was an English scholar who had the distinction of being tutor to Elizabeth I, but we remember him today for his little book, The Schoolmaster, published in 1570, two years after his death. In the first book of The Schoolmaster, Ascombe denounced cruel and common teaching practices of the time, like beating students for wrong answers. Ascombe argued that motivating students through fear was counterproductive. Instead, students learn better when given praise and encouragement. In the second book of his treatise, however, Ascombe's focus shifts to the best ways to teach Greek and Latin. One small piece of translation advice Ascombe gives struck me because it's almost identical to a technique I've used for years in math. Ascombe recommends the practice of what he calls double translation. Now, double translation is the act of translating a passage from one language into another and then back into the original language. For example, you might translate a Latin paragraph into English, set it aside for a while, and then translate the English back into Latin, and then compare the original Latin with your own Latin rendition. Ascom thought this practice was so valuable that he said that double translation of several of Tully's works would serve one better than four or five years spent studying all the rules of Latin grammar. But what does this have to do with mathematics? Well, we can do something very similar to a double translation. When I'm trying to understand a certain type of problem, I'll work the problem out as it's given. Next, I'll take my solution and reverse engineer the problem. In other words, I'll work the problem backwards and see if I can get back to the initial equation or condition. And this works particularly well with things like partial fraction decomposition and I've used it for years to decode solution methods and formulas that I don't immediately understand. So next time you're stumped on a math problem and can't figure out how on earth to get your solution to match the one in the answer key, remember Ascom's method of double translation. If you've enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy a video that I made arguing that math should be taught more like Latin. Also, please consider subscribing and check out my website. Links are in the description. Thanks.